<sighs> okay. So today, I thought I'd do this recap a little differently. Hold on. This doesn't feel weird at all. So I thought I'd do this one differently because my my cable box is not feeling right. And the thing that I use for the past recaps, I use a Roku and the remote won't work. So I had to do this on my computer. Yeah. So, yeah. Let's see if this could work out. Okay, so episode starts off pretty standard. Uh... Two minutes in, or one minute in, depending on whatever. So, Queen, I mean, I mean, basically, Eclipsa was about to have breakfast with Star Marco. Go, but this guy, I forget his name. What was, what was his name again? So Manfred was serving them all breakfast, but because of that whole humans and monsters thing, um, he he starts disrespecting them by making monsters eat from balls. He was a dis. He didn't like the idea, so he started to eat. He started to eat eclipses. Breakfast. Breakfast. And then all of a sudden he turned to stone. Yeah. That happened. So those things that were in Eclipse's food, those like round things, those was like called yada yada berries. I'm not kidding you. So, Star Marco tried to investigate who was trying to yada yada berry Eclipse. Yeah, even I thought that sounded weird. So they go to this place, and you'll never guess who they come across. A deflated Resticor. Yeah, didn't think you'd see him again, huh? Well, he's back, apparently. Ow. So now, um, they start to meet someone known by Babs. She has, like, some weird eye infection. She has some weird eye infection. Because she, like, has a lot of cats. If And she looks like a kid. I'm not kidding. So, it turns out that Babs was the one who was trying to yada yada eclipse her. Because she had to be, she was called in sick because she had pink eye, pink eye pneumonia, and other diseases. This is, she had a whole Slap bag full of yada yada bears. That is so weird. Name. So they look for some woman named Sherry or something. I forget. I forget things quickly. So they look for this. this there's a shop woman, and it turns out the, those berries were sent by someone named Ruben. So Ruben was behind this whole thing because. If you remember, I always she Clipsa made made him eat all the dog bowl. Do dogs even exist on that world? So Star and Marco were about to go back to that shop woman, and it turns out that she was she was just playing the fake out, like she didn't know what was happening. Thing. And then this obscure thing happened. 
You can tell Eclipsa that she can yada yada my. Yeah, I am not kidding you. That actually happened. She could just yada yada my. That's it. I am not kidding you. Looks like there was there was about to be about to be a PG on that thing. So it turns out uh, a lot of people buy uh, those yada yada berries. berries. So it was Star's decision to lock everybody up. Well, to confess who did it. It turns out everyone was mad because of what Eclipse did. Because Eclipse did terrible stuff in the past. And Eclipse comes in and she wants to earn their trust back and did i mention that that marco just got pink guy from babs yeah so i i mentioned probably mentioned earlier i forget quickly so when they met babs marco cough when they met babs marco got some tea that which babs coughed into so now he he has Pink guy. Ew. So, after that, Eclipse just wants to give the trust back, so she just lets everybody go. Oh, and yet, some of them still don't trust her. Now, this one should be interesting, because I guess you could say this episode is Down by the River! Yeah, I just wanted to make that joke. So... Now, instead of having the focus of Star and the other characters, we have totally I need background characters for a start. Er, so there was like a whole monster house house that they were living in, and um, to the store. They were on a store, and there was like really huge stairs. It, is. it turns out that those fa that was a family, and they were living in a monster house. House, which I was saying is why everything was so big and uh, yeah. So that family went to Queen Moon and R River, for saying that they needed help. Oh, cause yeah, I'm sorry. But they mention, Queen Moon mentions that she's not queen. Eclipse has taken over. So they just not need to do, so they could just leave them to it. So that after that, that family was like, I'm trying to civilize while Moon and River were trying to do stuff, trying to camp out. But River was trying to do the nature thing. And just eat every piece of wood, grass, whatever. Never. And that family was upstream. Meme. And they were, they were camping where they were camping. And this was happening. I don't know if you can hear. Um. property! I don't know if you heard that. So let's try to not not. I don't want to. No. So they, the family, well, the man, the father, found like a egg, like a Yoshi egg, except for instead of a Yoshi, it's a poisonous lizard that spits purple ooze, and Moon was about to get mad. And fed up. So, in the middle of the night, they were trying to sleep, but then that family was all making loud noises. Trying to stay away from a hook man or something. Mm. And I think I just paused at a weird screenshot, cuz. Yeah. That was a. Trying to. I'm, I'm keeping that. Leave now! Leave! Leave now! Leave! 
Best Performance by Gray Griffin. Yeah, I know her actress. And because of how angry she was, she was about to blow up the mazelings, I think. That's what they're called, the family. She made pies that when you throw them, they blow up. Yeah. That's overkill, man. Yeah. So they was about to pull up a plan. But it turns out the mazelings left. And she had a whole plan pl plotted out. So the mazelings had to go away because they didn't want to trouble them. They all got beat up and all that stuff. Squirrels took their, took their belongings and... And some people took their, made their spare clothes, and the hookmen, and found them. They were trying to get homeowner insurance. So Queen Moon and River want to give them a chance. So now they let them live with them. Then another family comes, and then that's the end of the episode, so they give him a chance. So yeah, that was Yada Yada Bears and Down by the River. So yeah, let's go to the next episode, shall we? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, just for an excuse to do this, I give you... The Ponyville, sh I mean, Ponyhead Show. Yeah, this is just, just, I just wanted to do this. So yeah, if you didn't get the joke, it's the Ponyhead Show. Yeah, even I can draw better than that. Can, can you see? Not my best. German. So yeah. Probably head got a show for some reason. And this caught up when a man was just playing his game of Snake. And then it was like he got alert of the Pony Edge show. Which Star and Eclipse are going to be joining in. Hence the star of the episode. So yeah, Eclipse was just going through the form of a Pony Head. Did not, not want that to happen because of that whole Skeletor guitar skeleton thing. I mean, and they wanted to, she wanted to get away. And then the Shining Pony Sisters came in. And they were like, we can take it off your hands. We are good musicians. With them shining looking silks. So while the show was going on, there was about to be a segment with Calco. Or Markel. Whatever ship name you prefer. She... They're about to cook something, and Marco just brought up something that wrestling is fake, and Kel just has some metal heartbreak or something, and then she leaves. Yeah, and then Pony Ed was just trying to steal this show for herself. So now, Star, I mean. So, they was in the middle of, like, still in the show, where Pony was doing some weird song segment or something, and the monkey was playing, which I think is cool, but it still confuses me. And, after that whole thing with Kelly and Marco, Kelly and Marco, why do I feel like that could be a show? Anyway, anyway, Marco apologized to Kelly, Kelly, and then, then she's over it. So now they start to get ready for the cooking segment or whatever. And it looks like Clips is getting made up. And after they got, got her made up, here comes the moment to where everyone is going to have fun making screenshots or memes of. Does that not look like something you want to make memes of or screenshots of? I tell you. It's gold, I tell you. And then here come all the people who were mad about the show. Oh, they're all saying things like, I want to refund, I hate this show or something. 
Boom. I hate that So now, Star attacks to shut Pony up. So now, Clips is about to perform. It's her time to shine, so people can actually trust her. From my point of view, centuries from my home, can't go back, so let's start something new. I should cover Here this I if I could. Am, this is me. Open-hearted, I proudly decree Now as queen, I am yours Let's make magic and reach for the stars Let's make magic and reach for the stars Um, I already got rid of this, so Great song. Sweet, right after that, people are still hating her. Why? Because it's a clip. Who needs reasons? They're still disliking her. Even they're, they're even liking disliking the show even more. I think they're about to cancel. At least the good thing about that song was that one person liked it, and it was a little girl. Yeah. So now the next episode comes on, which is called, um... Surviving by Spider Bites. Surviving the Spider Bites. Yeah. So now they're supposed to be, like, having this kind of party or celebration or something, and everything is trying to get set up, stars in the... Or fancy out the bit and room and that guy from the first episode we re recapped it that guy is still stoned yeah he's still frozen he still turned to stone you think he could have been back to normal by now so yeah surviving this the spider bites it makes sense now cuz we get I don't know if you can see. King, Queen, and Princess Spider Bite. Only one of them doesn't have a spider bite. So yeah, I think they're fine. Yo, they have serious infections. They should get some eyesight on the and probably do the thing that Spider Bite did. You remember that? So now, Queen Eclipse was nowhere to be seen, and the Queen and King were sorry, starting to get a little wounds, while Princess Spider Bite was still doing stuff on her phone. Yeah, and so Star was trying to like stall them by showing her around the place. So in order to stall them. Star brought in a whole trio. I don't know what you call card of monsters to do some kind of Indian dance, which was the best thing that I've ever seen. I mean, and there was like something we call fire dancing or something, and there was this cat that came in, and it was hands down one of my favorite parts in that, other than. Eclipse uh, being all razzle dazzled. So, my second favorite part happens in this episode. Remember the slime guy? Well, this happens. Bad time. Hey, you made it. <laughs> Thank you. Darren, I'm, 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 I'm okay with this. I'm, I'm surprisingly okay with this. I don't know why, because I'm, I'm a weird person. So, I'm okay with this, because I'm a weird person. So it turns out that the slime dude is Princess 
says Spider Bite's boyfriend. Again, I'm okay with this. I'm, I'm okay with this because I'm a weird person. It's fine by me. So it turns out they were all mad because it was a whole thing that had to do with Glumgore. Because all the things that Star was talking about and touring them through was about Glumgore. Yeah. So yeah, they, they found an Eclipsa on the roof and the spider bites are leaving. Even, that even sounds weird to say it out loud. So she just wants to apologize about everything being all glob gore related and stuff. So yeah, the whole thing was big success, and um, yeah, and the reason why Eclipser was on the roof was because she was trying to find the book of spells. Yeah. Ludo burned and died a few days ago, but it's, but she was trying to look for some remains to, that could help help get it back. But apparently, Star has one remain of it, and she didn't tell them. It'll be all revealed next weekend. So yeah, that was Star vs. the Force of Evil. Thank you for watching. And until next time, I'm Jim, man, and I'm about to pass out.